There is one thing that you are probably not aware of that can make or break your chances of getting a job as a developer. And it is something that you might not be aware of. It actually has to do with your GitHub account. So in this video, I kind of want to break down why your GitHub account is so important, especially while you're looking for a job as a junior developer and to do some things as of today to make sure that your GitHub account can stand out. Now, the reality is, as you are starting to learn to code, you're starting to become a programmer, your GitHub becomes sort of like your second resume. Now, you might not realize this, but hiring managers, even certain recruiters, tech recruiters will actually go through and check out your GitHub account. I mean, this actually happens. So it needs to be presentable. They're trying to answer questions like, are you currently coding? Are you currently learning something? Are the projects that you're working on, are they in line with the sort of jobs that you are applying for? Your GitHub gives hiring managers the opportunity to answer these questions before you are given the chance to do so yourself. And the reality is, I, you know, I speak to a lot of programmers now, I've got this channel and people are reaching out to me. But a lot of people just don't think about this. A lot of programmers don't think about their GitHub account that much. But now that I've been speaking to software developers, even software developers that are working full time, they do tell me that your GitHub account is really important. And it is an important tool that hiring managers use throughout the recruiting process. And if you think about it, it really is an opportunity for you to show what you can do, what you've been learning. Instead of just learning in silence, you can put these things out into the world and you can show hiring managers the sort of skills that you have. There's no better place to display that than on GitHub. You know, you can think about it, it's like a kitchen trying to hire a chef, right? And they say, can you show us your Instagram account? And the Instagram account doesn't have any food related content on there, like no dishes that they've prepared or they have no way of proving what they can actually make. Maybe that's a bad example, but I think you can understand the metaphor here. GitHub gives you the opportunity to show hiring managers what you can do, what you've been working on, and that you are consistently actually coding. Okay, so what are the important things that employers are looking for when they look at your GitHub account? Well, I can tell you, and even after just speaking to a recent software developer friend of mine, what they are looking for is relevant projects. They're looking for projects that are relevant to the type of work they're trying to hire for. So if you're looking to get into machine learning, but you're applying for full stack web developer roles, that's probably not the right kind of projects that you should be building and vice versa. If you're looking to get into AI machine learning, you probably need to be building more backend technologies, more backend software with let's say Python, for example. So it's important that whatever you're working on is in line with the type of role that you are applying for. And so I know you've probably been working on a lot of tutorials, you know, while you're learning to code. And that is all part of the process. So another idea as well is to put the tutorials that you're learning on your GitHub account. Now, it is important to have your own projects. I think we've spoken about this many, many times, but if you are learning, if you're still picking the skill up, there's no reason that you can't take the code that you're currently working on in your project on VS Code and just make commitments off those tutorials to your GitHub account so that employers or hiring managers can see that you are actually working on stuff that you're actually building things. Another thing that's important and what they look for as well is the level of consistency that you have. It's probably not recommended while you're looking for a role to have large blocks of time where you haven't made any commits. Think about it. What does that show employers? It shows employers that generally you're not really working on anything. You're not really building anything and you're not really sharpening your skills. Like for example, if you were given the choice between going to two different doctors, you know, if you've been feeling sick and one of the doctors has not been practicing for let's say a whole year, you know, he's taken an entire year off and the other doctor, he's still been practicing he hasn't taken any breaks and he's been doing it for years. You're probably more likely to go with the doctor that actually has been continuously working because they're kind of more up to date, they're more up to speed with what's happening at the moment and they've just got a better pulse on what's topical right now in terms of the medical industry. And so you can apply that same kind of thinking to how you are working with GitHub. Staying consistent, staying up to date, making commits, it shows employers that you're actively working on things that you are trying to get better every single day and that you're committed. You are committed and you do love to to program. And the third thing that's important as well is to make sure that whatever you are committing to GitHub, that it is fairly readable and decent code, that it is clean code. Yeah, there's an entire book on this called Clean Code by the author, uh, I'm pretty sure his name is, yeah, Robert Cecil Martin. So if you are making repos public for people to read your code, make sure the code is clean. And a good idea as well is to add comments on your projects. Adding a lot of comments also shows that you know what you're doing. You are building things that you understand. And you can also show that when you get the opportunity to download a code base from the company that you 
get a job at, that you're not going to destroy the code base, that you're going to write clean code. So that is something that you should keep in mind. It's okay to have your GitHub account and all your projects, but make sure it looks clean, make sure it looks tidy and make sure it look, looks organized. And this also means to have a readme document as well, displaying what's happening with this project, how someone can download and use it. What are the technologies that you've used? There's a whole list of things that you can add to your readme. And if you're building a website, have the link for the website, even maybe have a screenshot for it. If you're just building a small application, have a screenshot for it as well on your readme. Think about the repo as like its own little website, you know, in itself, trying to explain what the project is. So yeah, make sure your projects are organized. Nobody wants to work with a developer who's just got crap everywhere. Those are some things that can give you some really quick wins or give you some kudos with hiring managers. And the last thing is the small wins, they actually count. If you are trying to build a little feature, build the feature and then post it on your GitHub account. That counts, it doesn't have to be an entire website. If you are want to try a new feature out with a different framework, that also counts. By doing this, you know, by trying out different technologies, different frameworks, different libraries, and then committing that to GitHub, you're not just showing that you are trying to fill up little green squares. You're telling a story about yourself. You're saying that I'm learning, I'm improving, I'm building. And that is kind of the story that employers want to hire. With all that said, here's a really quick little action plan to get your GitHub up and running if you've been sort of neglecting it for a while. The first thing is try to make three to five commits per week if you can. If you can per day, great. But if you can't, that's fine. But at least try to commit to three to five times a week. The next thing is have some real projects that you can showcase. Even if you've been working on tutorials, like you're building a weather app or a to-do app, but try and put them all into a single repo to show that you've been working on a lot of small little applications and they're all in just one repo. You don't want to have small repos of to-do lists, budget apps, all this kind of stuff just in all different repos. That is not really considered original work, but you can showcase that you've worked on a bunch of these small little apps, especially while you're going through tutorials and just put them in one repo. Another thing is you can start to fork other repos and that you are active in a community of other developers. You know, you're sort of adding to different projects and you're part of something. That is another huge benefit as well, because as you're working as a, you know, a developer, you are gonna be downloading a code base onto your computer and you're gonna be working on it. So if you can show that you're currently doing that and you're not working as a dev, that is a huge thing as well. And another thing you should definitely do is take the best projects that you have or your most original projects and pin them to the top of your profiles. You know, you can pin as many as you want. Make sure you have those front and center so hiring managers can see the projects that you're working on that you want to showcase. Instead of having all the repos that you've ever worked on listed in a, you know, sort of a long list, just pin the important ones. And those are the ones that hiring managers or recruiters will be able to access very quickly. Another thing is, you know, add some information about yourself. Add a readme document on your profile page and add information about yourself, you know, who you are, what your experience is, the technologies that you use. Make a look interesting, add a little bit of flair to it, add a little bit of personality as well, and it's going to pay dividends for you. So if you haven't been paying attention to your GitHub account, this is your message to get on top of it. Start working on projects in there, start making those commits every single week, show your consistency, show all the different projects that you're working on. You know, and I'm only creating this video because now I've started to realize just how important this is. And I've been hearing about it constantly about how hiring managers and people that are looking to hire developers, they really do look at GitHub accounts. So if you haven't thought about this already, this is your reminder to make sure that you've got a clean GitHub account. Make it sort of a goal for this week to clean it up, pin the right repos, start getting those commits going on as well. And yeah, just have a professional looking GitHub account. It's going to pay you dividends. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.